We all know the story of the world's most haunted doll. Locked away, never to have its wrath set upon the world again. But tonight, we encounter Raven, the demonic doll that lives in a 200-year-old home deep within southern Mississippi. A home where no evil spirits are locked away, but instead seem to choose to stay. This is the first location we have visited where someone has been physically disfigured by a spirit. What is going on? We don't know what is in there. What? Whoa. You know, Mary's been known to actually move her furniture around. And of course, Catwalk's what? Off by it's literally draining the battery. Are there any spirits out here in this yard? Absolutely, just 100% battery just watch you go to zero and turn it off. Mary, are you here? What the f was that? What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel dedicated to all things paranormal, extraterrestrial, mysterious, unsolved, whatever it might be. And if you can't tell, the sun is about to set. And we're in Vicksburg, Mississippi right now. We just drove here from the Myrtles Plantation where we were last night. Tonight's a fun one because yes. <laughs> this is unanimously considered the most haunted house in all of Mississippi. Yeah, all of Mississippi. Yeah. Fun fact, the last owner of this location also owned that house. What? The reason being is he would get so terrified sleeping in the McRaven house that he bought that one so he could sleep in there on nights where the activity <laughs> was too strong. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. You would go down the street and sleep right well, there. Well, also think about it. If something really, really bad happened to you, would you let that happen to some other family or something? I'd probably just burn it down. He would. He would let that happen to some other family. I know I'd, I'd sell it for a profit. He have I'd sell it for a profit and go buy a BMW i8. It's exactly. So, right. what's even crazier is that the previous owner who would stay in that house, yeah. one night in particular, got scared so badly that he left. He moved down and left. Left everything here, all his valuables, all his antiques, everything that he had. Just he split. just left it here, and it's like that's still, how you know it was it's bad. It's still here. Like, if it's that bad where you gotta leave every single thing behind immediately. He was the last owner. Whew. The very last owner. So they know for sure that at least five people have died here. One of the owners was shot and killed here. There's 14 yeah. documented known spirits here. And activity has been traced from everything you could ever imagine. EVPs, photographs, all of it. It's a weird place to come into. I don't know exactly if I'm like super comfortable, but you know, we're gonna see what happens. So here's the interesting okay. part about it too. We have a guide here tonight who obviously knows more about the house than anything yeah. we could ever know. Built in 1797 as a way station for pioneers along the Mississippi River, it seems as though darkness may have lived within the plot of land of the McRaven Mansion for all of eternity, with every owner that lived in it longer than a week dying within the home. Andrew Glass, the first owner, was a ruthless highway bandit, yet he met his demise in his own bed, murdered by the woman he loved. As the American Civil War erupted, Vicksburg became the center point of the Civil War, leading the McRaven Mansion to become a Confederate field hospital. Battered by cannon blasts, bullets, and blood, the home survived, although most of the injured soldiers did not. Then, the second owner, John Bob's wife, passed away at childbirth, with John himself being murdered at the front steps of his own home a few years later. In 1882, the next owners were the Murray family. The father, William, unexpectedly passed away in the McRaven mansion, and then his wife, Ellen, and their daughter, and their son, they all took their final breaths within the walls of the home. After the passing of their brother, their surviving daughters, Annie and Ella, never left the home again. The home was left entirely unattended to, leaving it so overgrown with vines, even neighbors could no longer tell the house existed. Their lack of desire to leave the home, or perhaps the inability to do so, was so powerful that during the coldest of winters, they would chop up their own furniture as firewood. Ella lived her entire life entombed within McRaven, and perhaps her spirit still is as well. 25 years later, Leyland French became the first resident 
since the Murray family for a short while, leaving the house and all of his belongings within it without ever returning inside again. Tonight becomes one of the most terrifying encounters we have ever had with the paranormal world in a home that has the ability to take your soul hostage. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. So please, make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. I mean, dude, just the entrance alone. I know, it's, this is really creepy. Already. No, this is, this is 100% a pathway to a haunted house. Look oh, at that guy, look at it back there. Wow. It's huge. That you can incredible. You can barely see it. This almost looks like exactly the way it would have back in the day. That's true. All these yeah. trees and everything, you can't see any cars, nothing modern. Oh, look at this place. Oh, it's way bigger than I realized. Oh, it yeah. is so much bigger. God, Whenever I hear God. house, I think like, you know, I think Alex Murder House size, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah this exactly. is very small. Well, to be fair, he the, the last owner of this was the heir to the French Mustard Company. Well, that makes sense. So, yeah. you know, he left. Yeah, so I believe they built this house in three different stages. Uh-huh. So they just kept making it bigger and bigger over the years. Well, the first part was built in 1797. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Quite a couple of years ago. And then I don't know when they did the additions, but... The first... Okay, so the way that I would know is the first one was built from brick. Mm. So the brick portion has to be the first part. <laughs> Who is the one that lost the last contest? Oh! Corbin, I think. No, no it was you. That. It was you. It was you. We didn't do it at Myrtle. Oh, Trying to take it off me. It was you, and we didn't do it at Myrtle. Ah. Actually, I just realized that we didn't do it at Myrtle's. Evan did. I thought I could convince you guys that it was Corbin, but I am rubber. You are glue. Try to throw something at me, it sticks back on you. Dude, I totally feel like what? this whole area over here has probably had so much like activity. What about inside the house? We're not going inside. Yeah, we're going inside right now. What? <laughs> the lights are already on, they're waiting for us. Yeah, Corey, we just came to look at the outside. I thought we were just, I thought we were just doing like a little property view and different. <laughs> <laughs> no. There are uh, parts of this house that people are traditionally not allowed in that we will be going into tonight. No way. So, it'll be fun. Are I'm gonna take a doing? wild guess, because no one lives here anymore, that there's probably children's spirits here. Probably. That's gonna be my wild guess. Probably. That was sitting right there. This is really old. I mean, this is some 1700s. It looks like it's fake. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. this looks like an escape room. Yeah. yeah. Like, it looks yeah. like it was built to look this yeah, let's way. Let's not start twisting things. No. In here. no. I mean, feel the wood. The wood is bowing. I mean, this is like, it's actually almost crazy we could even stand on this. It is crazy that this building's still standing so well. 1797, oldest standing structure in town. This was built the last year of George Washington's presidency. Ooh. Wow, that puts that in perspective. Yeah. Dude. Oh wow, yeah, that really put that in perspective. That guy. Also, y'all keep an eye on this thing. What Hello doll. We don't know where that came from that was brought in by either the Bradways or the Harveys. We don't think French had it. Uh, but that doll's been known to move along with this high chair. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not joking about this. My coworkers tell me this all the time. Like it's been known to move out into the hallway. What? We had a ghost hunt here a few years back. It moved four times over the course of one night. Uh, did you open the door anymore? Yeah, I put it up. Oh, oh boy. Just to see if it'll do it again. Oh, so earlier oh, yeah. it closed? B? Yeah, it closed oh, earlier than it opened. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought we can't opened. shut it all the way. Hey, look, wow. the security camera here is like facing the light fixture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really that, captures. That being said, like, I keep asking who does that, and for some reason, someone or something keeps pointing it at, in a way so that it also keeps it actually the room. it should be fair. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah. They go by itself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I keep it's complaining twice. about that, and for some reason, it keeps pointing to just random parts of the room I mean, where it can't see. Really, just pointing at the light. It can't. There's no one that can see a single thing in this entire room. No. This section of the house was added in 1836 by a man named Stephen Howard. Howard was the first sheriff in the town of Vicksburg, and he bought this house and added onto it as a gift for his bride, Mary Elizabeth. She was only 12 years old at the time she was married to a man who was 28 what? at the time. At the age of 15, she gave birth to her and Stephen's first and only child. Oof. At 15? 15. At 15. I was learning how to play Halo then. <laughs> that's no way of having a child. That sounds like it would hurt. 
Unfortunately, Mary died about from anywhere from a week to two weeks after that due to complications with the birth. Yeah. Oh. And Sheriff Howard took the baby to live with his parents out in Yazoo City, and he left her there and never came back for her. Mary is arguably our most active spirit. She likes to say hi. She comes and does that just about every single tour we do. <laughs> She's really uh, fond of women, mothers, pregnant women, children, like young children especially. She's been known to play with them. Like we've had children playing peekaboo with some imaginary friend in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we actually had one girl, like like three or four, come in here and just start r like running in circles with her hand up like this, like someone was twirling her. And when she uh, was leaving, her parents actually picked her up and took her out. She said bye bye to whoever she was playing with. Now Mary's also been known to rub her hand on like expectant mother's stomachs we actually had one lady who came in here and felt like a hand rubbing up and down her stomach and she asked like what is that and the tour guide asked her if she was pregnant you know he made sure he could ask her that personal question first mm -hmm. but she said no and they laughed it off because they because he thought that mary was doing it Six weeks later, we get a call here at McRaven and that same tour guide answered the phone. It was that very lady and she wanted to tell them that she had just gone to get a physical at the hospital and she was six weeks pregnant. What? So six weeks pregnant, that was like literally the same day. Or it was. Spirit? Ooh. Are you serious? I don't know. Spirit baby. Yeah, while we're up here, I do actually have a personal ghost story that I experienced up here. You know, Mary's been known to actually move her furniture around, right? Like we see with the cabinet, but she does it to some grander degrees. My second ghost hunt I ever did here at the house. We had 20 people visiting and four guides, myself included, right? We usually give a talk on that bottom porch right out here to talk to them and tell them how all the ghost hunting equipment works. It was really quiet towards the back of the group. Some people couldn't hear, so we poured into the dining room that we passed in down below. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the people in the room, and we all heard wood scraping against wood up here in Mary Elizabeth's room. There's two exits to this room. You can either go out in the balcony, and everyone else can hear you bouncing along on that, or you can go down the stairs and run into me. I was the first person up here, and I found that chair that you were trying to sit in, what? Like, right in the doorway, like not beside, not in front of, in the doorway. Legitimately what? in the doorway. And we have a pull-out bed right here under this bed. We keep that under there. We do not have that on display, but it had been pulled all, like all the way out, <laughs> like right around here. What? Yeah. I, I swear up and down that happened. Was that the same day as the chair? Was the chair moved and also that was the same Yeah, day? that was the same incident. What? I came up here, I found that chair in the doorway, and this bed pulled all the way out. That wow. is nuts. See, I actually am a paranormal investigator. Like, I, I, I do ghosts 24-7. But I like to prove ghosts, like, houses aren't haunted. Mm -hmm. That being said, I've seen some things in here that I can't explain. I try my hardest to explain them, but, like, so the bed us. thing... Yeah. The bed thing, I can't... I don't, I don't have an answer for it. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. We get a lot of guy names, which makes sense because this used to be a battlefield. A lot of men pass through here. Yeah. And just things that keep appearing in the same room. We get threats and insults in Andrew's room. Huh. He actually calls one of the tour guides here a wench every single time he sees her. What? Mm. Many actually passed when we were buried here on the premises. Out somewhere in this area is where they're mostly congregated. They were put out sparsely. And like I said, out there on the other side of the house is the mass graves. That's also where they held the field hospital. Yeah, the mass graves where the giant open area of the, the kind of the yard is. Yeah. That's weird, because Corey didn't like that place very much. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. This is big. That's crazy. Okay, now this one's got a bit more creepy. This section of the house was added in 1849 by John H. Bob. The dude's last name is Bob. Yeah, the Bobs. Huh. What was his first name? John. John Bob. John Bob. Any John relation Bob. to Sponge? No, not. 
<laughs> Any religions to this point. Which I just gotta say, I'm loving having you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we normally can't tell. Either guys like really like us or they Oh no, I'm loving hate. this. <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys are very serious and don't really You're appreciate gonna start calling you McDonald's. Why? Because you're loving it. No. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. You can like see that a mile away. Dude, he come has on, a girlfriend. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah, he out of here. He's got a girlfriend, dude. Leave him. Come on. All right. All right. <laughs> Jesus. You can't just be flirting with the guy at every trip. It's all right. Every trip? He's my little McFlurry. It's every trip. He's my little McFlurry. Oh. Oh, but. God. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think he even remembers why he brought us in this room. <laughs> He's like, oh, Spongebob. Wow. They surrounded the city. They cut off any and all supplies coming in. No one, no one was allowed in or out. When the bombs came up, they found that their rose garden had been plowed over and had a whole bunch of dead bodies lying in it. Mm. This top floor was completely reduced to rubble. This, this one bedroom had been completely destroyed. Oh. And their town was now under Union occupation. At the end of the tour, our guide told us a story that he couldn't be filmed sharing, yet he said we could. According to stories and matching medical records, someone who was alone in the dining room was attacked by a spirit, brutally harmed, with his face being slammed into the floor numerous times, leaving him with a broken nose and gashes across his face. The victim's doctor confirmed the injuries, yet the person it happened to wishes to never speak of that night again. This is the first medically documented case we have heard, leading to the paranormal world inflicting severe physical harm to a person. Brandon will be staying in this room alone tonight. By the way, everyone, if you don't know, the Overnight Channel is still doing the Overnight Competition where we pick one winner every single month, one subscriber, and we fly out to your hometown, your area, and bring you to do an overnight investigation, something fun, whatever it is that you want to do. There are two ways to enter, and they are both right here. Leave a like and a comment in the video, and the link right there as well. So every month there is a brand new <coughs> There's a contest going on? Yeah, every month, brand new winner, and we already are filming with one winner at the Lizzie Borden House, another one with Bobby Mackey, so you could be very well next. Also, full spoiler, we're about to leave, um, and... And what? If you guys remember Lily from Trans Allegheny, and you know what Annabelle is, combine those. Here. And I might be taking her home. You are not taking I her home. I might take her home. I Elson, you are not taking it home. If you guys ever wonder what every time you guys like support SendedSociety.com, what all that like the, the, that funding goes towards, mm. it's me buying this doll. No, you are not buying the doll. Everyone comment down below that Elson's not buying the doll. Who wants me to buy the doll? No. You don't. By the time this video is out, I've already bought it. Elson, please do not buy the doll. It. Elton, seriously, please, Elton. Seriously. If you buy the doll, I'll nut and Jonah again. All right, before we start the investigation, yeah, I really feel like a lot of times we just jump into all this different equipment that we have and we don't explain what most of it is. So I'll give a little breakdown. These are cat balls, basically only activated through motion. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys know like how hard they are to set off. Oh yeah. Sometimes they you can't even set them off with your fingers like this. Yeah, yeah and we always replace them. We're always getting new ones in case they get a little weird or wonky. We have, of course, an actual night vision camera that we're gonna use later, because Corey volunteered to go outside by himself. Yes, I did. So Jonah did will be following him with this. Mm -hmm. And of course, Catball just went off by itself. You didn't put it on the table yet. No. Uh, no, yeah. I put it on the table and then stopped. No, but as he was- Yeah, yeah, yeah you didn't put that on the table yet. Like the night vision. What? Now you did. Okay. All right, good start. Good start to the night. <laughs> this is a motion sensor music box, so once we set it, there's a sensor right here. The only way it goes off is if someone passes or something passes in front of it. Mm -hmm. This is a laser grid. If you basically scan the whole room, you put lasers on it, anything passes in front of it, you a shadow figure, you should see it. Of course, K2s, classic K2s. Yeah. Yep. We have two different kinds, that way you can sync them up. And then on this side, Evan, these are all of our goodies. So these are all of our infrared 
or sorry, these are all of our full spectrum cameras. Every single one of them is outfitted to see rays of light that we can't see. Mm -hmm. So what the human eye can't see, this can. So this is literally full spectrum. So essentially if a spirit gives off a different energy level, a different light ray, whatever it is, these will capture it. That's why we use them. And then all of these lights, I mean, it looks red to you, but in these cameras, the entire room is illuminated right now. And we can't see this light. Yeah, it catches all. all the scariest stuff. Same thing here. Another one, so we can light up an entire room. Oh man! Put it in the center, the entire room is lit up right here. That's and so weird to think. That's crazy. What's that, my friends? This is our REM pod, and this actually works on motion. So basically, I don't think it goes anywhere but here. As soon as this is when it starts going off, when anything gets about this close to the REM pod. Yeah, or I would even say a little bit closer, bro. Yeah, yeah like when right. you're probably right here. Demonstrate it. Turn it on. Yeah, 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 sure, let's show it. Turn All on. right, I guess I'll show everybody. Put it, put it in the doorway. Yeah, put it in the doorway. Wait, wait, we're gonna demonstrate it by actually getting like a spirit to... No, I mean like turn it off. Oh, okay. Put your foot next to it. Okay. All right, that's in the doorway. So, we put these in doorways because the only way anything can set that off, off is if you come in from right here and you get... Literally that close. Yeah. I wonder how many times this does. I mean, think about how often it gets something. Yeah. How often does it not? I prefer, though, that you actually have to, you know. Can't believe it down. Wait, I also have to. I was gonna say, I prefer that you have to almost grab it for it to go off. What? I'm gonna do something and we're, uh, we're gonna do <laughs> this on camera. What are we gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna grab something real quick. So we're gonna do this on camera, the show, that we genuinely... Wait, 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 look at that. I know. But, no matter what, it's an electronic device. Oh, you're gonna change the battery? Electronic devices can fault. He's changing the battery. So, let's actually change the battery on. Good idea. You may take that, please. Thank you, sir. And prove that we literally always maintain our gear because I never actually do this on camera. Right? Mm hmm. What's going on with it? That's a brand new battery. There's, I've never heard it's dying. I've never seen it do this. It's a brand new battery. I've never heard this before. I'll turn it off and on, turn it off and on. What is going on? I'm gonna get one more battery. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get five Dude, more Dude, it's draining. Wait, 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 wait. It's literally draining the battery. Okay, wait, turn it off? Just turn it off real quick. Yeah, yeah, redo that. Oh, here, he's gonna put a new one in. Yeah, I'm gonna put a brand Four new one in. Okay, put a brand new one. Four brand new batteries. What? Right. I have never heard it do right, that. This is the I will one. say that the bag has been in the, in the house since we started the tour. Yeah. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing These this? These are three new batteries. I think it's gonna start again. Okay. If there's a spirit in this house, and that was you trying to drain the battery out of that device, could you do it again? Oh! oh. 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 Thank you. I was gonna stop. Could you please stop? Do you want? Oh. What? We need to all stand over here. We, we need to all stand over so here. Wait, let's all stand over stand here. Stand over here, Brandon. Let's, let's all walk over here. I don't want anybody to even like claim that it was one of us. Yeah, or imagine we even went closer to it and then... Drain first battery almost immediately. Second battery actually worked once it reset it. And then almost on, literally on command. That's the third battery now. Yeah. Yeah. The second battery, it was like killing the box. I wanted When to you walk, walked out yeah. of the room, it was literally killing the box. I chose to swap out the first battery in case it was a fluke, just to show you guys that we're always swapping them out. 
to make sure everything's like 100% functional. And it hasn't gone off again. So, for the sake of it, let's just make sure and to prove everything. It works. Wow, 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 what? wow. <laughs> so that kind of so means Brandon, you want to explain our last tool? Because <laughs> we didn't even uh, get it. I mean, that was quite the display of that tool. Um, <laughs> wow. Whew. This right here is our spirit box, which just cycles through the radio frequencies, and then it just, it's really hard to decipher anything, but then every once in a while you'll hear a really clear word, and that's supposed to be the spirits, you know, speaking through the radio frequencies. It turns spirits into bumblebee. Yeah. Exactly. Right? No, bumblebee yeah, yeah. has to scan radio stations mm -hmm. to talk. This is Transformers uh, spirit world. Yeah. yeah. That's literally what it is. No, you're right. I can't a really good explanation. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, and how are you going to explain Brandon? Okay, so if you know what death is, and you enjoy constantly thinking you're gonna have that happen to you, mm -hmm. that kind of is a good Brandon. description. Brandon, it's a very good description. Thank you. I'm just glad we explained all the tools. All right. Uh, uh, Corbin's death oh, final. Oh. I think the. Turn the other ones off. Let's, I, let's turn them on. I think the spirits like the jokes. Turn they them do. This yeah, let's turn them all on. If that was you, could you touch this REM pod? If you're if you're touching these cat balls. Put this over here. What? Whoa! And the cat ball! Did you just play? What? Oh, I just put this one here. Yeah, oh, yeah, that wasn't me. No, I know! I just asked if they touch the cat ball, they could touch the REM pod. And the REM pod went off. Oh my lord. Oh. What? Thank you. Can you stop touching the red pod so we can ask you questions? You gotta let go or walk away from the box. Yeah, it's the only way. Can you stop making the box go off? Okay. Alright. Thank you. Just touch any of the cat balls that are currently on the ground or placed anywhere and make them go off. And we'll know that we are communicating with you. Sorry about Elton standing right next to you. Are you still here with us? We just completely killed this camera. Really? really? Well, what? I just turned it on and just killed it, and like instantly. Absolutely, just 100% battery. Just watched it go to zero and turned off. There's gonna be a one-second clip on there. Wow. Are you draining our batteries for energy? Can you confirm that? It is 100% charged. It is recording. And dead. Ha! What? I just saw it turn on. Here, I'll turn it on and show you. That is crazy. 100% battery right there. Do you want us to leave? Do you not want us here? Okay, recording again. That one seems to be good for a minute. Hmm. Should we go upstairs? Ah. It's like Morse code. We haven't even made it to the room. I know. Oh. <laughs> one stop, one started at the exact what? same second. You were walking either. No. No, I even was stuck. Look at this. Wow. Let's not break the house, guys. You're very intelligent, aren't you? Did. Ah! <laughs> You're very smart. You know how to use these tools already. Yeah. Wow. Another battery done. No. I just swapped them all out. Are you taking. Are you taking. Are you taking our battery? What? It's like it's cutting me off right now. Are you trying to cut me off? Whoa. Should we go up the stairs? I think we should go to the other room. I think we should go to the dining room where the guy got smashed off the floor. Yeah, broken nose. Is that okay with you if we go in there? Maybe that's a no. Make it stop if you want us to go into the room. Keep going for like three, 
two, one. Do you want us to? What? Don't want us to go into the room. <laughs> okay, what would happen if we went into the room? Make it beep three times if something bad would happen. Make it beep only once if it's okay. How about I just find out? Yeah, are you gonna stop us? I mean, I'll listen to them. I would listen to them. We too. can't see them, but they're yeah, trying to help stay, us. You can stay in here in the dark by yourself. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go in the room. Uh, Look at that, it didn't even go off. I'm gonna follow the guy with the flashlight. I think you should. Uh, Do you want the lights off? You want the lights off? Okay, okay, we'll turn the lights off. This is kind of wild, man. Are you trying to warn us that we shouldn't be in this room? Maybe it does want us in this room. Is this room safe? Something on the K2. What? This is right where it happened, right? Is this, it happened over here. Is this room I'm dangerous? Gonna play foot right here then. Okay. What if to the spirit it wasn't a bad thing, it was actually a good thing? I was gonna thing. say, do you like what happened in here? I'm not close enough for that. Well, get, get, get away from it, get away from it. I will say that actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> get away, get away, get away. So, so you like what happened in here? You think it's funny that he broke his nose? Or that you broke his nose? None of the cat balls have went off since. Mm. Uh, what were you uh, telling me earlier about the family? Uh, that Corey I, doesn't know about? Hmm? The family that lived here from, what was it, like 1880 up to like 1950, uh, all of them passed away inside the house. Yeah. Um, and I believe around the 50s, when it was just the two sisters that were left, um, they were basically stuck here. They didn't want to leave. They were too scared. Um, something of that world, but basically the house was just falling apart with gr vines growing all over the house, and yeah, they both passed away in the house. Could you imagine? The whole family? Wait, hold on, think about that. That would have been before the owner that got his face smashed in. It was. Yeah. The two women were too afraid to leave. Look at what's right here. What if on he was trying to leave? And that's why it and smashed his face. And then he got turned around. Like they're trying to keep him here. Uh. Do you think that the spirits or souls that are haunting this place kind of held them captive? Yeah. The entire family died. You ever know it's a different time? You were not late. But then the two sisters to just shut themselves in here and never leave and let the house get overgrown to never maintain anything until they died. And then for one of the owners who was always terrified and always wanted to sleep in a different house, finally. Every yeah, own. then we think, yeah, he, every, didn't, he didn't want to leave. Maybe the spirit was just up, like, over him trying to leave every day. He wanted Do you make people be obsessed with this house and they feel like they can't leave? Do a lot of souls feel like they're stuck here? I yeah. like how that's... You're not going off anymore? Not going off now. How weird is that? Because we're down in the room now that it didn't want us to come into. Are you in this room with us? You can always knock or push someone's head in the ground or something. Do you want someone back in the main room? As far as I know, that's the only room that actually doesn't have any negativity, any paranormal stories. And also, this is the newest part of the house. Yeah. That's and true. remember, they said that the entire town is haunted. And my theory was that whatever it was spawned from that part of the house and spread its way out. Mm -hmm. you know? So it could be warning us that we're going towards the center point of where all the evil started. Mm. All right, hold up. <laughs> it works. works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we all love this device. It's our most trusted device. Actually, this this device, device is amazing. Should oh, we go upstairs? Well, nuts. Should we go upstairs? Did yeah. you come back here with us? Let's go upstairs. Okay. Alright, let's move upstairs. If you okay. guys each want to grab a camera, we'll bring them all with us. Yeah. yeah. Because of the door situation, we know it's strong enough to set up the REM pod. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's take the REM pod with us. Good idea. But I still have a camera on the door. Good. Yeah. yeah. So the door, the door moves. I'm very curious about that door. The door moves, we'll see it. Very different vibe now. It's 
much colder in here. What's in there? Restroom. Oh. That's it, that is restroom? Yeah. Alright, go up, Corey. Okay. Okay, two's going off set like look at that, you see that? Yeah, you're Which room are we going to move I don't know. Oh, which one are you thinking? Oh sorry, I wandered off. I don't know. Really? Whatever room your heart desires. Say let's go in here. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, I don't wanna be in there alone. I'm gonna walk around the K2. This is so weird watching this through the camera but I can't see it with my eyes. Looking at you, I'm, I just look like an idiot, like I'm shining nothing at you, but then looking through here, I got a big spotlight on you. It's got a gnarly migraine out of nowhere. My camera's going crazy. Your camera? My camera's getting like just insane interference in it. Should we start over here then? Should I leave my GoPro in here and set this up in here? Uh, whoa, what, 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 you guys see the mist? Oh, it's gone. Where? No, it was, it was in front of Elton. No, no, like Elton, like if you're facing me, it was right here. There was just a mist in front of you. Dang, I really was hoping you're saying it's over there because my camera's blinded right No, here. literally right here, there was just a mist. Mary, are you here? Would the camera pick that up? Look, on cue. N on cue, Mary, are you here in a turn? And I, I'm on, I'm pretty positive this was facing it. I know, I have it. Everyone's got On it. cue. On cue, Mary, are you here? And it closes. Are we talking to Mary? I'm gonna put the cap on the bed. That's a good idea. I'm gonna put the REM pod in the... That's a good idea. In his room. So I should uh, put it right here? Tilt, yeah. aim it right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then let me clear out. Yeah, let me stand on the side too. Oh, Rosa. That one was the other for the boys. Alright, started. I'm gonna do its little calibration. Alright. Alright. But. All my GoPros are going That's crazy. No, look, look, can you see the statics in them? See the bars running across it? Yeah. They're all doing this. Every single GoPro is doing this right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll. What? They're all just getting like crazy interference lines across them. If there's any spirits or souls in this room with us, we can't see you, but we think that you can see us. Could you maybe touch the cat ball on the bed? Or walk in front of the music box that I just put on your dresser. Maybe wave your hand in front of it. So you can let us know that you are in here. Placing the REM pod here. Because this is the site where Andrew Lay, who has gunshot wound as his wife, slit his throat. So if anyone were to tour, to go to there or from there, I'll go off. Are there any children in here? Was this your home? Is this where you used to sleep and go to bed? Where you would wake up every day? Just go outside and play in the yard? Yeah, I think it's way more sensitive than I realized. Yeah. Well, what? nothing on the K2. No. Which is interesting, because yesterday at Myrtle's. We know we were talking to a spirit downstairs. Are there any spirits up here with us? Oh my gosh, guys. What? We are idiots. Why? What have we learned? In terms of what? That means in terms of from exact, yes. elementary school? Man, how we, how do we forget this? So no quickly. mod chant, no introducing ourselves. No oh time my period god, piece, you're no. right. We, we, didn't, we didn't bring gifts, we didn't bring toys, we didn't bring alcohol. 
I we, think we got distracted because the REM pods started going crazy. That's true. We didn't even start the investigation when yeah, it, it went off. It started it on its own, like, you know? Well, well let's, let's uh, introduce ourselves then, right? Yeah, maybe we should officially start the investigation now. All right, so for anybody who's in this house, I want to let you know that I am Corbin Reinhardt. My name's Corey Shear. My name's Brandon Gross. I'm Elton Caste, and I'm here to stay. You're here to stay? Right. You don't have to be scared of us. We're only here for the night because we want to talk to you and try to learn about this house before we leave. Look, look Andrew, I've stolen before, man. You know, I, I've done my time. I, you know, I've done, I've done my crimes. I was a badass. What'd you steal? I was a badass on the mother playground, okay? What'd you steal? People's food all the time. You stole people's food? People had pudding? My mother pudding. I wasn't, look, I wasn't going on the down nice Mississippi camp. River with a gun, but I would give a mean nookie. <laughs> Mary, were you standing here? Was that you that I saw? Did I see your mist? Did I see your soul walking around here? Or is it not Mary? Is it someone else? You happen to be the person that was downstairs and harmed someone. It'd be an honor to meet you if that was you. Because you'd be the most badass person, spirit, alive, dead, that we have ever met. It's the truth. If you want to make your presence known, it would be an honor to meet you, my friend. Look, all I'm saying is y'all are just talking like some Yankees. Yankees. He's out here like, oh, my name's Corbin Dane Reinhardt. They call me Daddy Yankee. That's true. And let us feel like you should be a little bit more in tune. If you get away from that music box, you're making it go off with your hand. I'm just saying, they probably can't even understand a damn licking word that we're saying. Well, you know, wow. we're in Mississippi right now, but... M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Thank you. Balls on bed! Oh, okay. That was me. Balls on bed! Wait, why is it only blinking? It wasn't... It, I, I was like... Oof, I was close. No, but it should have played a song. Yeah, it should have. We've Ooh. learned many a times that too many people in one place yep. just overwhelms things. Mm -hmm. So, let's break things up. Break it up. You okay. were really attracted to being outside earlier. Yeah. Which we found out is actually... A burial ground. One of, yeah, one of the more horrific places on the property. For Confederate soldiers. Insane. So let's send you out there by yourself. Perf. Jonah, by Jonah, Jonah will live in the woods. Jonah will be around maybe 100 something feet away. By myself. Yeah, just by yourself. Perfect. And then Corbin and I can be up here with the spirit box. And Definitely. Yeah, I'll do, and that. I'll do that with you. The seven you kids up yeah. here, maybe try and have a conversation with the Sounds kids. Good. Yeah, yeah, fun. Get a new house. battery for the music box. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, Brandon over here. Yeah, what happened to you? He doesn't seem to be too afraid of the spirit downstairs. Hmm. So, so I'm gonna go get my face you, smashed. You, you've already, you already broken your nose before, right? No. You never broken your nose? No, I've only broken one bone there, my kneecap. I oh. broke my nose. You wanna make it two? Sure, let's go see. Let's see what this ghost got. You broke your nose. I broke my nose many times. I broke my nose. Actually, you broke I've actually had my nose I broken. Broke my nose. You broke your you nose did? too? Yeah. Brandon's turn. Oh! Brandon's turn to get his nose broken. And we're turning your nose broken, and it's his turn to get a uh, little scar over his it eye. Is. Something happened to his eye. Oh. Yeah, all three of us. All three of us have had something happen to our eyes now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'm it's super turn. excited. Your turn. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's set it up. It went off! Right when he said it. Oh, it wasn't even on camera. Right when he said it. No, but GoPro got it? No, GoPros are all in my hand. I just, I just picked them all up. It just went off when he said to go grab the REM pod. Oh! I said, where's the REM pod? And it went off in this room. I literally just picked them all oh up to move them. Oh my god. Can you at least grab why, it why one more time? Because I don't have enough. I need more. I don't have enough to cover like nine different rooms oh. in a house. Was that Andrew? Oh. So that wasn't Andrew. It went off. I just picked him up. Dog, I said, no, where so are the room? No. Did, it, oh. hey, did it go off like at any point before? No. Oh, so, oh wait, but that GoPro in there is filming, so it heard it. That's not at least, No, they're not. They're all off because I'm moving them all downstairs. Oh. Is all there right. a security camera in here? No. No. 
damn it. Where is it? Uh, right there? Yeah, right there. It went It went off right here? Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll grab it, take it with you outside. We know it still works. Oh my god. Damn. It hasn't so went off in probably almost an hour. Which one? Just keep keep it in your pocket. I'm assuming someone shut that door. Actually, did someone shut that door? Oh my god. We'll no have way. it. We'll have it. Oh yeah, because this GoPro's recording. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look. What happened? What? What happened? The door. No. No way the door actually closed. Hey, look, wait, wait. We have GoPro on it. I'll have it. No. I'll have the footage. Check, 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 check. Yo, wait, can we watch it right now? No, we'll watch it later. We'll find out later. It's more fun if we find out later. No. It's more fun if we find out later. No. Dude, Dude please. No. Please, 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 please. No, we'll find out later. I want to see. You will get dessert when you finish your vegetables, and your I'm, vegetables are outside in the graveyard. I want to see the door. Okay, go eat your vegetables oh, out there where the spirits to are. See oh, the door. Oh, no. Oh, you're gonna close that door. That's what Harry wants anyway. Yeah. You just pleased the ghost, so whatever. He loves to please him. All right, get out of here. I found a little crap. No. Have a nice little oh, dinner. Okay. Just, you know, you guys are. Spe oh. Okay. How did that not? <laughs> really? What? Okay, we're going upstairs. Mm, give me that. Yeah. Brandon, I'm sorry. <sighs> Man, yeah. All right, yeah. so whatever spirit, Sorry. you know, did that, the poltergeist or demon did that to the old gentleman that owned this house. French. Yeah, his last name was French. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, feel free. Brandon's a tough guy. Yeah. He, he's working out. He'll flex for you. He'll show you how strong he is. One um, guy who hasn't broken his nose yet. So, yeah, um, so it'd be super cool if you want to be awesome if you have a big strong nose. Good luck for the record, he also doesn't believe you exist. He has like absolutely no confidence at all. There's anything paranormal. Like he thinks you're just, you're bullshit. We're talking you're about not guy, real, which means the guy that you hurt, he's basically calling that guy a liar. So if he lived here for a while and you were friends with him, he basically just called one of your best buddies just a bullshit lying through his teeth, cheating out of his mind, crazy person. So. I just want to let you know that right now that everything that Brandon is thinking, he may not say, but that's how he feels. Yeah. So, you know. If you're angry with him, really direct that. You guys, you guys done yet? Okay, you get, get, get the f out of here. All right, well, that sets the tone, huh? I have the REM pod with me. I have the K2 with me. Ooh, I got chills. They are multiplying. Oh my gosh, Jesus Christ is my savior. <laughs> All right, time to go up. Where do we start here? We've had some activity already tonight. I don't know if it was you making the REM pod go off, up in the doorway when we first got here, but if you are here, I'd like to talk to you. If there are any spirits out here, if there are any souls out here, my name is Corey. I just heard a voice. I don't mean any disrespect or harm. I'm just here to try to communicate with you. I'm going to try to talk to you. I understand that the previous owner was right around here and he was picking up a piece of gum that was left from a tour and when he bent over he proceeded to slam his head into the ground and break his nose and freak him out so badly that that's the reason all of his stuff is still here. And if that's the case, if you were able to do something so strong and so violent, you should have absolutely no problem touching one of the cat balls. We've got a couple of them set up in the room here, one on the table, one on the floor, one on the stairs. If you were able to smash his face off the ground, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to touch one of the cat balls. So, I'm here and I'm waiting for you. Whoa. 
What was that? I, I hope that was a bug. What the f was that? I just heard like a, like a, like go past my ear. And it wasn't like a buzzing or anything. It was, okay, let's just ignore it. I want to see what you got. The guy left, and he left all of his belongings here. He won't speak to any about. He won't speak to anybody about what happened. He he won't do interviews. But we know from the doctor who actually fixed his face what happened to him. So I'm right here. I'm bent over and waiting for you to smash my face into the ground, but. I don't see it happening. I just set my device up right here. I feel like something gave me the feeling to stop right here. I'm going to show you how it works. Ready? If I put my hand near this, it'll start beeping just like that. Okay? If you want to talk to me, if you want to communicate with me, all you have to do is touch that box and make it beep. Because I can't see you, but I think that you can see me. And I think that you can hear me. My friend Corey, he's outside walking through the woods. I don't know if you leave the house, I don't know if you go out there. But there's another person you can hurt. Seems to be what you like to do. Oh my god, this is so scary. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you don't want to talk right here, I think I know another area. <laughs> okay, I just saw a light. A, a tree literally just lit up. And it's not in the direction that Corey is. I don't even, like, Jonah doesn't even have a light out there with him. I have to go look. Are there any spirits out here in this yard? Any souls? Any people? Any humans? Anything. That would like to communicate with me. really starting to not believe your story here. I want to. I really want to believe that you're here. I do want to talk to you. But if you're not here, if you're somewhere else in the house or somewhere outside the house, go ahead and show my friends that you're here. I just want to talk to you. Oh my god, dude. Now I'm getting like the migraine again. Wow. And it's like behind my eye. I've got nothing. What? This is kind of weird, bro. I know. 
everything was going crazy earlier. I know, dude. And now it's just completely dead. I know I was kind of ready for it to go crazy when I was in here by myself. And well, me too. I was expecting it to go crazy in the graveyard. And you didn't get anything? Nothing. K2 never spiked. The box, ne it, it might. I don't know. I don't even think it was. I think it just stayed going off one time after I turned it on, but then it immediately stopped and never turned back on. I mean, I, I do think... So you are in this room with us. Dude, I have had that turned on for 30 minutes outside. And it never went off one time. We know you're here now, you can stop. <laughs> if you want, we can try to speak to each other, but we have to go and order through the beeps. One beep will mean yes, and two beeps will mean no. Okay? Do you want to try talking to us like that? Are you a female spirit? Thank you so much. One beat for yes. Yeah. If there's more than one spirit that is currently talking to us in this room, can you make the box go off again right now? Four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. What? Okay, that's eight. Are there any more spirits in here? You can make it beep a couple more times for how many spirits there are. Eight. Eight spirits. So you're all good spirits.
took the music box, turned the music box, oh, and reset it, and then asked the same question, are you stuck in the doll, and it goes off. What? And then from there, I asked, were you trapped there? Yeah. And it went off. What? And I was like, would you like to be set free? Music the box played again. Wow. And I was Way. like, do you, do you want me to help you? Goes off again. This is where it gets too far. And because then, it's like, now he starts making promises. And these promises, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep. And right. I said, and I said, I'll come back. Because I don't know right now how to help you. I'm set you free, but I'll come back. And set you free. I can't promise you one, but I promise you I will. We I know don't how. know what is in there. Yeah. And we have I said, no I promise I'll set you free. Went off again. What? Yeah, he promised it, and he not just uh, that, not just that. He, was, he said, he said, can I give you? Can you give me a pinky promise? He sticks his pinky out, <laughs> and it just starts going and going. No. And so you going. promise something that you don't know is evil or not that you're going to come back and set it free. I think it's a little girl. I think it's a child. I mean, we have no clue. You didn't even ask if it's a little well, child. It's not like there's ever been a crazy story about a haunted doll that caused a bunch of chaos, right? Why are you still, yeah. why are you still yeah. using your southern accent? That's, that's yeah. never happened, right? There's never been <laughs> this a doll. This guy's doing this. I think you're starting your own haunted. There has yeah. never been a doll that the Warren family ever came across that was super haunted and caused a bunch of crazy stuff to happen that led to the conjuring or an exorcism. And it's not called Annabelle. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe that's Annabelle. Maybe it was that Annabelle Freak. Who knows? You don't. I don't. But we're coming back, mother. Oh okay. my god. That happened with you, Gretchen. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know. I'm kind of down. You know what was the worst part, too? For me, at least? I wonder if I can buy the doll. No. No, there's no, no way. There's no. no way. No, there's no way. There's no way. There's, there's no, no way. way. There's, there's, there's no honestly way. no way. They would not sell it. But I do remember them saying that. that <laughs> this was is it. the doll giving you the idea. <laughs> I, yeah. remember, I remember that was somebody. God, they said they left it here, right? What? It, like that wasn't here with the house. Like someone left that here, I think. Yeah, I think they said they didn't know where it came from. Oh, it's awesome! Wait, 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 wait. They, wait, wait, wait. They don't even know. They don't know where the doll came from. I want it. That's not from the house. Wait. I know where it's going. Why don't we leave it here in Mississippi? With me. In your mouth. You bring it to LA. Right there in your mouth. Wait. Let's, let's keep the good vibes in LA until we figure out what it could be. Wait. Someone brought that doll and just dropped it off. Yes. I think so. I think that's and it's time. haunted? No. He has no clue. You live with me. No. I can't take it home. No, we're not. <laughs> it's we cannot idea. take that home. It's a terrible idea. Wait, that is not like even an original doll from this house. No, it's not. Think that's so just a doll that showed up and they don't... Here. Oh. Okay. oh. oh. That's just scary. scary. Excuse me. Hey. How's it going in here? Good. Good. It's going good. Oh, I interrupt the film. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I actually, actually have a question for you. That doll that's upstairs in the chair, where did it come from? We don't know. It's... Uh, yeah. It was either... It, it was either the Bradways or the Harveys. I think the Bradways that brought it in here mm -hmm. when they bought the place from the Annie and Ella in 1960. Mm -hmm. But, uh... So was that doll in the house at the time that the gentleman got his nose broken? Yeah. Uh, uh, whoa. Is there a possibility that I could make a donation to this house that would lead with the result of me taking that doll home? <sighs> Highly unlikely. Yeah. But like, not 100% I mean, unlikely, right? Uh, I'm gonna have to say no for now, but I can definitely give you at least the owner's number. I would very much so appreciate that. Dude. You, if you Dude. saw what was going down on top, that was what happened. The music box. Are you familiar with Hannah Bell? Yeah, of course. Well, that might be the Hannah. And she rung my bell. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Wait, we, we probably, how long ago did we come inside, Jonah? Like 15? Like whoa. 20. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Is that why all the GoPros died? I don't have the footage anymore. <laughs>
<laughs> we're, we're just burying evidence. Honestly, one angle facing nothing was still filming. Man, nothing, nothing happened outside, right? Jonah's living nothing. Uh, not at all, yeah. Oh my god, it's so funny. Yes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So weird the cameras didn't intentionally die. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so first off, I need to just say that the fact that we don't have the footage of what Corbin and I experienced with Evan upstairs sucks. It was the first time in all the paranormal investigations we've done that I went, you know what, Corey, maybe you're right. Maybe I can 100% side with you and say there is another realm, a space around us that we can't see where spirits and those that exist in the paranormal world are. We don't have the footage and I don't understand how this is possible, but the only explanation is I didn't pull the footage off the SD cards on the camera. We filmed this night until about 4.45 in the morning, and then I had to drive three hours that night to get us to the next place so we could fly home. Somehow, I didn't get the footage. But the more bizarre part is, I ran every kind of recovery software you could imagine on the two possible SD cards it was on, and it recovered everything as far back as Cecil Hotel, the Queen Mary, Myrtles, and what we had just filmed recently, and still the three files missing were from McRaven. Regardless, it's my fault that it wasn't pulled onto a hard drive and there wasn't duplicate copies and triplicate copies, and I didn't notice it sooner, so that's on me. And I can't tell you how mad I am at myself. And just to give you like, a brief explanation of what we experienced. Cor Corbin and I were upstairs doing a spirit box session for a decent amount of time. And we were getting a, a few things here and there. And we decided to shift our focus over to the other room. And we had been told stories about this doll that was there that no one really knew where it came from, but maybe it was brought, maybe it was placed there, but everyone agrees that there's something attached to it. Now at this point, we had been in the room, we'd never had the REM pod go off other than the one time that we actually didn't catch on camera. Nothing was happening, no cat balls, no anything at all. And I finally decided to just see if maybe there was a spirit, jokingly, right, in Annabelle, something inside of the doll. And as soon as I asked the question, is there anyone or anything inside the doll, the REM pod beeps. And it's going to be impossible for me to do it justice, what really happened in that room in terms of like question and answer, question and answer. But it got to a point where anytime I would ask anything that was relevant to, were you trapped there? Did someone put your spirit, your soul into this doll? It would beep. And I'd ask other questions that weren't relevant and there'd be nothing. And when I say like the REM pod would go off, I mean instantaneous. And it got to a point where I said, in the most sincere way possible, I don't know how or have the abilities to remove your spirit from this doll and set you free. But is that something you'd want me to do? And the REM pod goes off on the dot. And then it stops. And then I pause and I say, okay, I can make you a promise to come back with someone that actually understands this field and knows the proper way to set you free. If I make you that promise, would that make you happy? And it f***ing goes off. Bop, 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 done. There was no doubt in my mind that that doll and I can't believe I'm saying this 
I don't know. I'm not going to say it was haunted. Right? Because that could imply something negative, which we don't know positive or negative within the doll. But that doll has some kind of energy inside of it that is beyond just being an inanimate object. That's what happened. And I genuinely offered a very large sum of money <laughs> to the owner of that house to buy the doll. They won't let me. Every once in a while I follow up. I'm so sorry that that happened. Uh... I don't get it. I've been filming YouTube videos since 2016. I filmed over 500 YouTube videos. I have never not pulled footage off an ST card. I still don't believe that I didn't do it. But logically, that's what happened. Out of 850 clips on that camera that it recovered, the three I needed weren't there. Regardless, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I will say, Regardless, one, we're never going to f not pulling footage off cameras again, but I'm excited for all the future investigations. And you'll see that in all the up, up, like coming videos. You'll see that I have a newfound respect and like genuine desire to find more proof. So get ready. Uh, the next episodes are really f cool. A lot of cool places on the East Coast. Burn Bray Mansion, Mid Orange Correctional Facility, Shanley Hotel, Lizzie Borden, SK Mansion, Bobby Mackey's, Old Licking County Jail, St. Anne's Nunnery. Those have all been filmed and like were filmed a long time ago. And actually in about 12 hours, I am hopping on a flight and we are going to Turkey, Ukraine, Chernobyl, Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, Romania to film. And after that, we're taking eight days off and we are going to the United Kingdom to do like, you know, England, London, that was well, the same thing, Ireland, uh, and then we are going back to the catacombs in France and we're going to Italy. So lots and lots of videos coming at you and uh, figured if you'd already watched an hour and 10 minute video, this extra eight minutes I'm filming, a lot too, I guess. But genuinely appreciate all of you and uh, hope you're enjoying these videos and the editing that we're putting into it, the voiceovers and it's a lot more work, but I love making it and genuinely hope you enjoy it. And if you don't, actually, if there's some things you do like or don't like, let me know. I always read all the comments. It's I do, actually. So, cool. Thank you, guys. Love you all. And see you next Saturday. If I'm going to something up again. <laughs> okay, bye.